Hello everyone, Mr. Taylor here. Well, once you've uh, really modeled a real world situation with an inequality, you can then go ahead and uh, solve the inequality to answer uh, any kind of question that's posed by the situation. We're going to always use inverse operation to get the variable term on one side of the inequality and the constant term on the other, on the other side. And uh, one thing that we want you to keep in mind here is uh, when you are solving these inequalities, if a little ink decided to disappear, uh, if you multiply uh, or divide both sides by a negative uh, number you need to reverse the uh, inequality sign. So that means if you're solving, if you're actually solving for negative 2x and is equal to 10 and you're going to have to divide by a negative 2 on both sides or should I say is greater than 10 then what you will do is to get your answer you will switch your inequality and that will make x is less than 5 but you have to make sure that you that you're dividing or multiplying by a negative uh, coefficient or a negative number okay well what's our learning objective for writing these real world situations what's our learning objective we will write and solve inequalities to represent real world problems. This is 11.3.1 uh, or should I say example 1. Same vocabulary that I want you guys to really be uh, good with. Coefficient, that is the number that is multiplied by a variable um, uh, in an algebraic expression. Um, and a constant is the number without a variable and an inequality is a mathematical sentence that shows the relationship between quantities that are not equal okay let's get off get off the ground so to speak and see uh, what example one is all about so it tells us that a yellow hot air balloon is 100 feet off the ground and it's rising at a rate of 8 feet per second. Okay, an orange hot air balloon is 160 feet off the ground and rising at a rate of 5 feet per second. So the inequality says, or the situation says, well after how long will a yellow balloon be higher than the orange balloon? So that means when is it going to make up those 60 feet and supersede it? Okay, so first thing we need to do is write the expression representing the first balloon which is the yellow balloon and beginning at 100 feet so that's 100 feet and rising means plus um, 8 feet per second so that we'll let s represent second so that's 100 plus 8s and this will be our yellow balloon so let's take a look at an expression for our orange balloon okay so it says that the orange balloon is 160 feet off the ground and rising so that's our plus at a rate of five feet per second so that gives us the expression 160 plus 5s okay so now we need to take these two and create an inequality. So remember, it asks us after how long will the yellow balloon be higher than the orange? Okay, so we need to understand which way to turn that inequality. So our inequality that the author said we need to write is height of the yellow balloon is greater than height of the orange balloon. So our expressions were 100 plus 8s uh, and this is the yellow balloon and 160 plus 
5S is the orange balloon and we are using a greater than symbol. Okay, so now let's do what it said we need to do here, which is solve the inequality. So solving an inequality is just like solving an equation. We need to isolate the variable, which means get the variable terms on one side by themselves and, of course, the constant terms on the other side. So here I want to make sure I don't get a negative uh, variable term and I look and compare 5 and S. I mean 5 and 8. And, of course, 8 is larger, so let's subtract 5 and take it over to the left of the inequality sign. So when I do so, starting on the right, subtracting 5s, I'm going to get my zero pair, and that's going to leave me with 160 to bring down on the right side, put my inequality sign, and I'm looking at now subtracting uh, 5 from 8, and that's going to give me uh, 3s, then bring down my 100. Okay, so my statement now says 100 plus 3s is greater than 160. So this is a new statement. Uh, so what I want to do now is to get my constant terms on one side. So that means I need to subtract 100 because that is a positive 100. So that's going to give me my zero pair. And I'm looking at bringing down my 3s from the left side and on the right side I'm going to subtract again 100 from 160 and that's going to give me of course 60 so my new statement will be 3s is greater than 60 so this remind you is 3 times s and the inverse of that will be division so I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient in front of s which is 3 so 3 goes into 3 1 s time and here 3 goes into 60 20 times so what I'm left with is s is greater than 20 and since s, s is, and let me make that a better looking two horse here. There you go. So that tells us that the yellow balloon will be higher than the orange balloon after 20 seconds. Okay, now what we want to do is look at something that I would like for you to take your time. Go ahead and, if you would, and stop the actual video and take a look at this particular example and see just how well uh, you can work this example and then come back and compare answers. Okay, so what I'm looking at is a situation that tells me Amarillo, which is West Texas, temperature is 74 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and it is increasing at a rate of 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. In Houston, it's 68 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature is increasing at 4 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So it asks us to write and solve an inequality to find how long the temperature in Houston to uh, how long it will take the temperature in Houston to exceed the temperature in Amarillo. So what I'm looking at is the temperature in Houston being greater than the temperature in Amarillo. Okay, so let's see, can we create um, some expressions? So in Houston, it says it's already 68, 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and increasing 4 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So uh, that's going to be plus, and I'm going to put 4H, and I'm using H for time. Amarillo says that it is 74 degrees Fahrenheit already and increasing plus at 
two degrees Fahrenheit per hour. So how would I write my inequality? I would just simply put, since I want to find out when Houston is going to be greater, then a greater sign goes there. So now I need to go ahead and solve it. And I'm looking at my variable terms and I see literally 2H and 4H. So since 2 is less, I'm going to subtract 2H from both sides. Subtracting 2H from both sides mean that this is going to be my, what, zero term, and I'm left with, on this side, 74 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is going to be uh, still greater than, and on this side, if I subtract 2 from 4, I'm going to get 2H and then bring down my 68. And I think what I want to do at this point is is take the degrees Fahrenheit off so we don't get uh, confused in any manner. Okay, so let me bring down my plus size here. So what I have is 68 plus 2H is greater than 74. So what I need to do now is get my constant terms on the same side. So 68 and 74 are constant. So we need to move 68 to the right of the inequality, so we have to look at the sign, and that's a positive 68. So let's subtract 68 from both sides. Now, here again, that's going to give me my zero pair, bring down my 2H, and greater than, still use my same sign, and then here I will have 6. So I'm looking at 2H is greater than 6. This is 2, again, times H. So that means I'm going to divide by 2. And I'm left with H is greater than 3. So what it means, according to the problem, it says how long would it take the temperature in Houston to exceed the temperature in Amarillo? And my answer is 3 hours. Okay, I hope you got that.